Happy Easter Monday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Burns. Always I have the ladies with me. Alaja Nima Akashat. Zibiri, how are you doing I'm today? Fine, I'm fine. So I have a couple of apologies. I had the younger brother's wedding in Port Harcourt. Emmanuel Inaku, he finally got married. <laughs> this is my brother. He's approaching his 40s and we're on his neck. So the wedding happened in Port Harcourt on Saturday. I couldn't go. I'm working. I'm sorry. I wish you. A blessed, happy, married life. Mm. I, I I hope to meet your wife very soon. <laughs> also, was my younger brother who was his best man's wedding. Oh, fine brother. I saw his pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Julia <laughs> this is our fine, fine young brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy birthday, IB. And um, apologies to Otumba as well. It was yeah. his daughter's wedding. And I was <clears throat> absent. <laughs> I, happy married life to our younger sister and her husband as well. Yes, it was a lovely wedding. I was there, yes, uh, over, over, over well, the yeah. weekend. Myself and Waiki mm -hmm. were there. She's married to a, a man from Taku from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so nice to see the fusion culture. of the culture. Yeah. Um, it was really just such a beautiful, beautiful experience. Congratulations to uh, Otumba Sunday. Congratulations to Otumba and the bride. And his beautiful and wife I also. I couldn't make it as well. Um, oh, yes, that's you. You're to get I was going to come, but <laughs> I, I, got, I, I my, uh, chicken pox ravaged my house. Aww. And by that Saturday, it was obvious that I didn't want... Um, my mom was the one nursing everybody. She didn't have chicken pox, but she was tired. She was big, yeah. coughing and all of that. So I couldn't leave everybody yeah. like yeah. that and say, I'm going to a party. Um, it, it wasn't just appropriate so so his daughter's name is felicia abosedi mm -hmm. was felicia <laughs> <Dose -Sedi -Aton, laughs> my to taku paving when i saw that name i was yeah. where the name was from zimbabwe well, it was in zimbabwe yeah. and it's, it's beautiful to see cross-cultural relationships yeah. so you're fine good I'm, I'm good somehow somehow in the midst of my driver got it my housemate got it my three children got it and I've never i survived it. not having Chicken pox. I'm very grateful to God. You've had it before. Hey, hey. Me, I I've, never, I've, never, I've never, I've once. never had it. There's only one. That stay. Just no. Just soon. <laughs> and we've been, and we hugged. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't worry. You're good. I did a maca fresh in the building. First time meeting a maca, by the way. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I yes. So it. yesterday was Easter, and then I had the wedding, and it was uh -huh. party, party, party. Hey. And flavor was in the building. Hey. 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 Dancing. Agbabola. <laughs> Hey. This is my favorite. So I danced, I parted so hard ah, last night. That's yeah. nice. That's good, 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 good. Yeah. Friends, I, that's I, true. How was Easter? Easter Sunday was night in church. Church was fantastic. Lots of dancing, celebration, reminder of the resurrection power. Uh, and uh, in every, the, all the prayer points was about everything that is dead in your life. <laughs> Come back to the night. That was the first churches on Sunday, but we thank God for that. Saturday, I was also at a... I built a hotel for the wedding. I went to my daughter. Mm. It was fun to hang so out with her. Was Friday. I mean, I mean, it was just a nice weekend. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm off to Paris. I have a conference um, at the Nigerian International Film Summit. It's happening um, Thursday and Friday. It's hosted by Ijoma, uh, Ijoma Ona, I believe. And she's, she's a good friend of mine, and we've been together for a while. So she invited me to come and speak. So I'll be uh, speaking at the panel. The DG of NBC will be there. Uh, MD or Multi Choice will be there. A few other other international yeah. TV stations will be there. So it's a good place for TV and entertainment to also be. And I'm pretty excited to uh, to be attending the conference in France. So I'll be off for a whole week. I'll probably <laughs> resume next week Tuesday by God's grace. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm really excited for this. I'm thing. excited for you. To me, I love traveling. So <laughs> anybody traveling like me was like, oh my God, please take pictures. Let me see. But yesterday was a yeah. boring Easter for me because yeah. we were supposed to have family over, and my husband said. We can't bring people into a house that we're trying to get rid of chicken e box. Yeah. People to go to church. He said, "Do you know that it might still be yeah. your children that still they are still not totally?" I said, "Okay." And you wanted to hitch a ride with me on Saturday. Look at you. Yeah, I, I feel like it was. It was just pulling my ear. I mean, I'm not. I don't all think right. all those things. Let's go and have someone in the house with us. Short break. When we come back, we'll look at the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
All right, we're going to start with the nation. Yeah, we can see someone is desperately trying to become governor <laughs> of the state. He's, that's Jim O'Brien, says, I am most qualified. Three presidential jets proposed for sale. Kaduna debts, El Rufai's son Bello disagrees with brother. Clergymen leaders preach peace, love to Mark Easter. Okay, which story are we taking here? I have the Kaduna drama. <coughs> Governor at um, a, an event, I'm trying to get um, a, a town hall meeting. The governor had a town hall meeting in Kaduna where he revealed that his administration inherited $587 million, which is 85, sorry, $587 million, 85 billion naira, and 11, 115 contractual liabilities from the predecessor, which was um, El Rufai's administration in Kaduna, and Bashir El Rufai, son of the gov former governor, cannot have it. He went on Twitter, X, and he tweeted that, you know, the governor was just trying to cover his incompetence. He says in his tweet, these guys have realized that they are wholly incompetent, and the only way to mask the, no mask the nonsense is to deflect from a governor who is always sleeping in Abuja to a litany of incompetent aides who were only rewarded for foolish political reasons. Uh -huh. mm -mm. But then, yes. <coughs> Language. we had um, uh, <coughs> his reply from uh, another APC chieftain, Ibrahim Amadou, who claims to be his bro brother. I'm trying to see how. He says that he sides with the governor, that the governor did nothing wrong, revealing that um, he had inherited some debt. And he says he distances himself from what uh, Bashir had said, okay. and said that he's loyal to the governor. He says, what is wrong in the inability of the former governor's son to comprehend the rationale behind the disclosure to the public? His vertiburations are uh -uh. unguarded and unacceptable, mm -hmm. especially when the man involved has helped the family during hard times of political waves. Okay. And I'm saying it's the business of Kaduna State political mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. If the governor says he inherited certain things, you come and rebut it with evidence. Mm -hmm. Not insult. Not insult. Mm -hmm. It was okay. done in Anambra when uh, Obiano took over. All right, let's take uh, that story in the nation. Yeah, so fake soldiers, operatives of the Isheri Oshun Police Division in Ogun State, um, in Lagos State, sorry, Isheri Oshun is in Lagos State, they discovered that there was a man alleged parading himself as a sergeant major. His name is Femi Balogo. He had on the full military camouflage and he was around the Ijegun area, the riverine community where a lot of oil boundary takes place and it's a haven for criminals. The army has been on the army's wanted list. Apparently, he has been parading himself as an army officer before. And the visibility patrol along Fabile Estate in Ijegun caught him. The police um, spokesperson, David o, um, Benjamin Ohude, already confirmed his arrest and said that the military has been contacted. They confirmed he was a fake military, um, he was impersonating and that it will be charged to court. And it's, it's worrisome that somebody can have a full, you can disguise and be mm. fully unrecognizable as mm. a fake military person. We need the police to do more of this so that we can have mm. more trust when we see someone okay. wearing the uniform. Exactly. Okay. okay, so I have uh, three presidential jets proposed for sale. Cost of maintenance now a burden to government. Um, three jets in the presidential air fleet are to be sold off. It was land at the weekend. This is part of the cost-saving measures being adopted by the Tinubu administration. Mm. This is fantastic. And we can remember, like, sometime in 2016, during the Buari administration, two um, jets were put on sale, but nothing happened. Yeah. Yes, they ended up not selling them because uh, I heard this, the, one of the bidders, is, is, um, instead of paying $24 million, reduced it to $11 million. So they, they decided not to sell. So three planes have been now penciled down for disposal. The main reason is the cutting down of high maintenance costs. I think officers in PAF were particularly concerned about the frequency of maintenance and how much it costs the nation, mm. especially in this economy. The president decided to let off the aircraft that constitute the most burdensome. So that's a good one. So an investigation has confirmed that the presidency might have incurred over five million dollars as maintenance fees in the past few months. That's ridiculous. That's so this is a good one. You sell it to international, uh, com different countries across the world. Yeah, so anybody that wants to buy. Even in Nigeria, we don't have any company that can, or any, any private person that mm -hmm. can start maintaining that kind of five million dollars. That's a lot. The punch. Easter, governor, senators beg Nigerians say hardship over soon. 
TCN raises the alarm over planned attacks on power facilities. Police begin search as Benue man drowns in Ogun. Confusion as man dies in car during Good Friday service. Delta bloodbath fleeing Okoma villagers lament hunger and snake bites. Dangote and 106 others jet um, get tax holiday over 2.5 billion uh, naira investment. And banks eye euro bonds, foreign investor for 4 trillion naira fresh capital. Okay, which story are we starting with? Let me quickly do the human interest. Um, so this man, a Benue, an indigenous of Benue State, is Sunday Ogad, reportedly drowned in the Enyua River in Odobolu, local government area of Ogun State. According to his friend, Abayomi Otusoya, he came with him to that community on a visit and suddenly disappeared. So he later looked around mm. for him and he was reported to have gone for a swim in the river and he's... He has not been found, so the, he made a report to the police station and a search has started for him, most likely the cops, if they can't find him alive. The police assures that it is their business to, to ensure safety of everyone in the area. And the spokesperson for the Odobolu, Ogun State Police Command, has confirmed this. The commissioner also says he has said his deepest condolence to the family and loved ones and that his command remains committed to promoting public safety and preventing tragedies of this nature. So let me take the other human interest story. Uh, there was panic on, on Good Friday after a middle-aged man identified as AJ was found dead in his car at a mechanic village in Idimu area of Lagos. Um, the, he, Punch, are you taking that story? No, no. no. Punch learned the deceased was attending Good Friday service in his church located in that area. And the late AJ, who was a member of the church, reportedly he stepped out to get something in this car. And as he stepped out, he entered the sky and sat down. An eyewitness who spoke to the punch correspondent said that um, he exchanged pleasantries with the AG. Unfortunately, he didn't respond. He didn't get back to him. So he knocked on the window and found out that he was actually had actually passed on. And that's when he raised alarm um, to other members who now rushed out to the church to see what was going on. Efforts were being made to revive him, but he was already foaming from his mouth. Oh. And that was when mm. they realized he was actually dead. Oh, so sad. So, so, yeah. sad. So uh -huh. After TCN raises the alarm over <coughs> planned attacks on power facilities, following Thursday's national grid collapse, the transmission company of Nigeria has raised the alarm over a planned attack on its facilities in Zuba, Gwagwalada area of the Federal Capital Territory. The TCN spokesperson, Didimba, disclosed this in the statement on Sunday. Mba said that there were alerts of planned attacks on the power installations in Zuba, calling for heightened vigilance. While reiterating the firm's commitment to managing the national grid and ensuring its stability amid ongoing challenges, such as the persistent low gas supply affecting power generation in national grid, he said TCN grid controllers work tirelessly day and night to balance the grid and prevent any kind of disturbance because See, the weather is really hot. Ah. <laughs> As no a, the weather is hot. With AC or fan, no, you put everything on. Please, no, they should not steal anything. We are begging you. them. They should <laughs> not disrupt the small light that we are getting. Please. I beg. It's really, really painful. Enjoy. I mean, that needs, this is a Nigerian, this is a Nigerian fact. We in Nigerians are the ones destroying this uh, land. Sad. Like, um, government is not doing anything about it. Yeah. Let's go on a short break now. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, what in the <laughs> <laughs> it's still seven of seven, and we've been doing a whole lot of 
protesting, protesting. The only thing that remains is just to carry placard. It's about five or seven, to be honest. Because, ask your question. I have so much to speak about once we finish. We'll not give you the time. Because it's seven of seven. I will make the time now. <laughs> he said he will not ask questions about science. No, 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 he did not finalize his answer about a kuti question where there are only three of us. Editor, scratch this part out. That could out. have possibly <laughs> composed the music. Editor, scratch this part out. Stupidity <laughs> is an act of ignorance. Oh hey God, my <laughs> Was composed by which kuti? Femi kuti. I'm sure you could say. No, wait, you're a family kuti. You said family kuti. kuti. Wait, wait, wait. It can't be allowed. No, no you've you not can't asked me anything. Everyone. You've not asked me anything. We, we, uh, so, my final answer no. <laughs> All I have to say is yeah. this show is really about drinking. <laughs> That's the whole idea. The questions don't matter. <laughs> That's the whole Just idea. Just this is out the window. <laughs> We throw caution to We have no right morals here. here. On the 7 of 7. <laughs>
said that it will be available to homes, business outlets, and others nationwide, thus filling up the gap. He added that president, the president's administration was working tirelessly to make, the life, comf make life comfortable uh, for, ener for energy users nationwide. Adilabu also stated that part of the measures initiated um, by the president is the formation of the presidential meter initiative, which is aimed at putting other initiatives under one umbrella. So that's good news. Um, that at least two million is not a lot, mm -hmm. really, compared to what our demands are. But at least if the starting point in the next five years, we should get at least two million um, prepaid meters. Mm -hmm. um, Major head headline. Yes, um, the Ningi dry crisis with uh, the Senate president. Aside the, the northern senators, now you have the northern governors joining to make peace. So they are actually blaming the three senators from the south. Uh, Senator Babin Daly, Senator Lam Leko, and Jim Ibrahim of um, Ondo has been those who mounted pressure, who made the, who put fire in the firewood, who put mm -hmm. petrol on the fire for the uh, Senate president. They had insisted that the apology of Ningi should not be accepted. He deliberately lied against the Senate by saying that there were two budgets being, mm. you know, mm. uh, padded. padded, that the budget was padded, that there were two budgets being um, executed by the um, executive. But <coughs> these governors are saying that this will not have gotten to this point. And they are trying as much as they can to see that, you know, Senator Ningi, is, um, yes. his suspension is lifted and that he resumes back. I want to take the story of NDLA, um, apparently a Qatar-bound passenger, on just last week Thursday, was attempting mm -hmm. to carry 10.7 kilograms of mm -hmm. cannabis wow. feeding within dried African salad, butter. And they caught her at the MMI, um, International Airport, MMA. They also, her name is Chidima Agba, Chidima Agbazwe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chidima Agbazwe is her name. Um, they also reported a situation where they found two suspects. They were caught with different types of um, drugs. They were caught with 842,000 560 pills of opioid, mm. tramadol, about 15 liters of codeine, 569 grams of moly, and the guy, OKK, tried to bribe the NDLE officer with 5 million naira cash. Both the drugs, the two men, as well as the cash, have been confiscated. And this is thumbs up to the NDLE officer. I wish we, we mentioned, but I know there are many upright NDLE officers, and we need to celebrate them because it's not easy to turn down a five million naira bribe right. yeah. in this economy. Mm -hmm. And so we mm -hmm. applaud all NDLE officers for the good work they are doing. There were several other reports about Bielsa, the drug being people that were caught in Bielsa. There are different types of drugs apparently and mm -hmm. all of them are being pushed in different society. Um, the okay. hard ones and the traditional ones and the ones that are in pill that form ones, yeah. and then just ones. educate our children. And then the cannabis is more like a, it's leave. Uh -huh. so. Okay, are we done with daily sun? Yes, we are. We're moving on quickly now to Vanguard. Recapitalization, banks sweat over exclusion of 3.8 trillion retained profit. Why Nigeria's oil belongs to the north by Usman Bugaji. Our leaders behave like men in drunken stupor, says Kuka. Tinumbu's aid, Tanko in rebel war with Upita Obi. Easter will be others give um, other task for Christians on love and sacrifice. <coughs> Excuse me. Eco Disco. Dr. Tunade holds fort as MD CEO. NSIA to governor. Stop asking Tinumbu to curb insecurity in your state. And Okwama residents trapped in forests send SOS to Tinumbu and Oborivoi. Okay. okay, so I have Dr. <coughs> Tunade's story. So the Eco Disco MD, according to the Vanguard, the Vanguard said they have run their checks. And the, um, all the facts indicate that Dr. Sonda, who clocked two years in office on March 30, remains in charge of a code school, even though all the drama that we read the past weeks, they said that she, she is an accomplished professional with, you know, 22 years of extensive experience in financial management with a doctor's in financial management and entrepreneurship and a master's in business administration. But since she assumed office of, at the disco, she has achieved remarkable milestones. She said she has had the highest ever monthly collection of 15 billion and the lowest ever ATC and seek losses of 15.69%. That this success relaunched, she, she successfully relaunched the meter asset provider map scheme 
and the installation of 110 transformers within the Ecodisco network to alleviate overload challenges, just to name a few. She also was uh, one of those who first of all opened her financial statement in 2022 to, to the public. And she's, uh, um, she's continued to set more milestones. I'm happy that she remains the MD. She's yeah. deserving of it. Congratulations yes. to her. Madonna. Okay, so um, Professor Ishak Oloide, who is also the registrar of, the, of JAM, that's the Joint Administration Matriculation Board, and also the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, NSCIA, he has lampooned the governors for seeking the federal government's intervention to tackle security challenges within their states. According to him, the president alone cannot handle every situation in the country, hence the need for all 36 governors to look inward and fashion out local means of neutralizing criminal elements and end banditry in their various jurisdictions. He was saying this while giving the Ramadan lecture titled Duties of Muslim Citizens in National Development in Ikole Ikiti. Ikole. So, Ikole, <laughs> the story of um, the sad incident that happened in Asaba, uh, residents of Ukwama and um, Usumosu and other communities in Ugili are crying out. They sent a signal to the president that following the killing of 17 soldiers on the 14th of March mm -hmm. and the later clearance, the army clearance operation within the community, many of the community members ran into the forest and they are dying within the forest. They are in mm. hunger, lack of medical attention. They have complained that they need medical care, that too many people, old people are dying in the hiding places. The residents have struggled to get in touch with um, leadership within the community, and they've sent a message to the governor, they've sent a message to the president, and they've also asked the Niger Delta Democratic Union, NDDU, and worry-based lawyer to... Um, they market the boundaries of the communities because some people were not involved in this. Their communities are different, but they cannot, they don't have the, um, they can't go to their places. And that if the NDDU pro put a proper demarcation, it would stem the communal crisis that has been rocking the community, mm. putting a permanent mm. end to the issues within that community. So I'm hoping that um, there will be a swift response from the government right. side to the challenges happening to these people within the right. area of mm. the South community. Moving on now to the Nigerian Tribune, our final paper. Again, Jim Ibrahim says I'm most qualified. You see this picture, before I even go into the stories. <laughs> the, the picture already, mm. you know, there's a lot of things that it speaks about, you know, because it's, it's about his certificates. And it's so important that he puts the international ones ahead. Oxford, Cambridge, you know, Buckingham. And then he puts the UOAU bottom right. And then there had to be a picture of a white woman next to him just to give it validation. Yeah, like, oh, that, you, know, yeah. you know, and it, these it's are subtle. things. It's uh, quite subtle, but mm. it's a reminder of how we make it look at foreign is always more important and more um, and, 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 and more valued. And it goes from the head from all of us, even leaders. We all do it in different ways, but if it is reinforced again by the leaders, it's, it's, mm. it's, these things are subtle, but we should just pay attention to it. That he's just trying to validate his credentials by putting a picture of himself and a white woman just to show that now you both give me mm, certificate mm. <laughs> anyways listed commercial banks may require combined 2.8 trillion naira to meet capital requirements is report we are reaping what we sowed yesterday nigerian leaders are like men in a drunken stupor says kuka a kitty indigenous sue government over airport project demand contract documents and financial details okay this is from no, I have the, okay, the uh, 2.8 trillion. So based on the fresh reports from the Lagos-based Afri Invest West Africa Limited, West Africa Limited has estimated that you know certain listed banks would require 2.8 trillion to meet the new baseline that the CBN has set. The CBN sets a minimum capital requirement for lenders in the country to mitigate the impact of external and domestic shocks, and the APS Bank mandated. A minimum of 500 billion, 200 billion, and 50 billion for commercial banks with international, national, and regional license, respectively. So, international 500 billion, national 200 billion, regional licenses 50 billion. The um, CBN also set baseline of for merchant banks at 50 billion, and non-interest banks at 20 national 20 billion, regional at 10 billion. Specify that minimum capital for existing banks should comprise only paid up capital and share premium. And they went inside the story to indicate that only one bank 
And at this time, at this time, gang, 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 as in bye, 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 <laughs> make it to that amount. The other bands, they name them. They say, those ones need to join Parapon. I don't want to name them. Please. To raise. Send me, send me that report. Me. I need to go and study the banks. Yes. So I know where I will send money is and see who is merging with yes. who. Yeah. We are all kind of nervous. But I was shocked that one of these red banks, you know me. Let's go and break. Okay, cash me. Hmm. Let's go and break. Let me come nice. back. Nice. We continue with the show. It's our Easter special. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. In Ramadan, we are... Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, have you? Yeah. It was great. Okay, yeah. Thank we, you. We, we thank try you. like that. Thank you. Thank you. Now my question... Which I feel is a cheap question. Well, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. Ah. No, you're joking. I'm not joking. Clear your mind. No. <laughs> Shay, you didn't want me. me. You want me no. I think I'll drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym is. Tell me the, the, the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know, I even became an ambassador. That is, that's very easy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's out there. It's supposed to be... Yeah. I just said, let me give you this one. As a token of my appreciation. Sony. Drink! Wait, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there! <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there! You did not, you did not say final answer. This is final answer. You did, not, you did not ask me if that was my final answer. You don't answer. have any choice again. It's only... Michael. Have, how, many, how many cameras do they have? My friend to drink. I gave you a very easy something. Michael now. Ladies and gents, welcome to of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bring out the Inca, the first! Woo! OJ right here, 7 of 7, like you already know. Bring out right here, 7 of 7, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So, okay. so now one chance for enter. My, My first question. question. Do you remember the names of the winners of that edition of StarQuest? Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what year? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day. Don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please. Let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, wait, God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> drink, my friend, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. I don't, I don't, I don't overthink this thing. See where I can. Yes, you overthink him. I would say you should cut work. Uh, let's cut work. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not cut work. That's, that's good. That's, that's good. That's <laughs> good. Okay. Just a seven of seven, and signing a severity into my hands tonight. On this social experiment called the Seven of Seven, is Owen G. What is the name? Or what was the name? You see, I don't. I want to make them better now. Rock Heart. No, of That's the of the goats when they brought it on stage. The what? name of that goat.
Thanks for staying with us. So we found a video of an elderly couple fighting over money for feeding. In the video, the elderly woman is heard saying, give me money to eat. I am hungry. Did you buy any land for me? Look at me. I built a shop there, but it was destroyed by you. Give me money. I'm hungry. Bring that wallet out. I need to, I need to be fed. And um, quite a few people have commented on this, one of which is um, um, Commissioner of Police, uh, um, Dolapo Badmos, also commented saying that she was actually um, really, really touched and compassionate about this and said she was willing to see what she can do to support this couple for at least a year. But um, this brings up quite a few questions because there are many layers to this video. Um, there's the part of where are their children because usually in the African setting, people expect that when the elderly is in situations like when they are old, the children are supposed to be the covering to support family. That's one. Secondly, um, the fact that two old people are fighting and um, the fact that the woman seemed to be lamenting that the man um, destroyed her store. So, so many things could be deduced from this um, altercation between both, both, both adults. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, how do you, what do you make of this video? You can call us on 081-0764-1679-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets? I'll also be happy to read some on YouTube also. Nima, let me start with you. It was quite heartbreaking. Um, these people cannot be less than 80, you know, 85. Mm -hmm. And these are people obviously living in some type of poverty. And um, it's clear that um, the woman is angry and the man also seem um, quite upset at each other. So what do you, well, I was more worried that old people fighting. I mean, how are you people in their 80s fighting over what? What are your thoughts when you saw this? Let's start with your initial thoughts. So I... When I saw the video, I could relate. I'd seen old people fighting in marriages before. And initially, just looking at it without the audio, I thought they were playing. Yeah. You know, I thought it was a marriage, it was a celebration of older marriages surviving. And then when I listened to it, that was what broke my heart. Exactly the same dynamic. So a man who's disempowered his wife, refused to invest in raising his kids, sending them to school. So you have the wife taking one child to one relative one skilled worker, you know, putting the children somewhere, and the children are st still struggling. And so they can't show up when they are old. And the woman is now saying, ah, give me food now. I've been mean, like this, we go there, you know, give me money to feed. Because now she's old, she's disempowered, she doesn't even know how to earn, and her kids can't show up. You know, in the old age, they are strongly blaming the man for every of their life's problems because he failed to plan. So you see... Those days, men will say, let me eat first. You people, you'll be all, like, all right. I know it, uh, with the case of the one I know, who in the morning, as his children are waking up, he doesn't play with his stomach. Mm -hmm. He will come outside and buy food for only himself in a house of uh, about seven kids. Mm -hmm. uh, children plenty, women mm -hmm. plenty. Mm -hmm. He will buy only his own food. And each child is supposed to meet their mothers for what they will eat. You know, and when the kids are crying, he will be eating. You know, something I found very strange. I remember when I was in primary school, if I cry, my father can't eat. Hmm. I have to be full first before anybody let me, let me Let me show the video so that mm -hmm. the viewers at home can have an idea what we're talking about. For those who are not on social media, go ahead, please. Mm as I said, there are lots of layers. I don't understand why a woman is still dependent on a man mm. at that age to be feeding her. That means so many questions to be asked. Mm -hmm. At that age, should you still be saying, give me money? I don't understand. But may that, may, may that not be our story. Mm -hmm. We're doing the work. Mm -hmm. I teach on this all the time. I teach on planning for old age. It's easy for you to look at where you are now. When you are in your youth, you can walk and think, okay, I would be at this, I'll be able to be earning like this till mm -hmm. I'm in my 70s and 80s. Without strategic financial planning, 
you, so people, a lot of people can be wealthy or have been um, average in their 40s and poor at their 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. The structure we, our social structure here is you live off your children. Your children send you money on a monthly basis and you use that to tide yourself over. Very few actually actively plan for what will happen when I'm in my 60s. What would, how would, what, how, what would maintain my, my, the quality of my life in my 70s? And it is intentional planning. It, it doesn't just happen to you. And we're moving away from the stage where this is happening, though. I feel like this age, we'll still, we'll still see some people in this age that would experience this. But no woman, young woman of today in their 50s, should, be, should not be self-aware enough to plan where their money and income will come in when they're in their 60s and 70s. And it shouldn't be on your children. It has to be intentional. You must plan ahead. I look at that woman and I feel this is, the, this is why we preach financial security for women, financial inclusion for women. We, we preach financial empowerment for women because we don't want this kind of thing to happen to anybody. It's not right. Um, but uh, on a lighter note, they say that when children are sending money to parents at home, send to both. Because sometimes if you send to the man, this kind of thing, maybe they send money to the man. Maybe that's why she feels the man has money and he should give me money because probably our children sent you the money and you are now holding on to it for your own personal and as opposed to if you want to send money to your parents, send daddy's own, send mommy's own into separate accounts so that there is no division or quarrel. Because I feel that might be the reason. Okay. Um, the woman says she's hungry and she's shaking. This is poverty. No, no, in a first society, this should not happen to anybody. Even if they don't have family members or they do not plan for their retirement. Mm. It shouldn't. Maka, you need your thoughts on this. Okay, so um, this is sad. But then I like to take the positives in every situation. The positive here being that, wow. At 80 or over 80, yeah, have the energy <laughs> to fight, to see have squabbles. Mm. That's, that's good. At least, as in, they, they, they are related. They're going to live long. Yeah, they're going to live long. At least they still have something to fight about. So I'm taking the positive from that, right? Then, but secondly, I also disagree with what I said now about, like, you know, having to plan mm. for your 60s or 70s because anything can happen. Yeah. Like, for example, my mom, um, she retired as the regional manager for one of the prestigious banks in Nigeria. Mm. And this is, over this is like over 10 years, and they've been in, in, in court over their pension, mm. right? Mm. Well, three judges have died on the matter. Mm. Wow. They are still going back and they forth. Can plan Most of the pen you can plan all you want. Most of the pensioners have died. Mm. And these people have to still pull money together for their lawyers and everything. So you can plan all you want. You can have um, women inclusion, financial, mm. whatever you can plan. Anything can happen. Society. So, society, yes, and then we don't also know the structure in that family. The structure might be that the husband has always provided. If the husband has always provided, then the wife is within her right to say, bring that to your wallet, bring out money, give me money for feeding because he has always provided, right? Then, but I don't agree with the fact that she says she opened the kiosk and he scattered it. Mm -hmm. Like I said again, we don't know the structure within exactly. the home. So, so Amaka, we are, we, are, we are speculating here. We don't know the backstory. Mm -hmm. And because of, we, are, we are just looking for different, different angles that we when a woman says, you destroyed my store, that's you also not, the... You did not, you, uh, oh, Dami Loco, you did not open your business, start a business for me. Okay. You did not invest in me. Okay. You did not allow me to do my own investment. Mm. So he's she invested you know, in herself. And so, this, so there could be anger issues. Yes. There could be yes. temperamental, that's somebody who is narcissistic. So there are different... different uh, the woman is pain from her to. past. Mm. She doesn't like her present situation thinking and she's... She's going to be punishing that yeah. person. Mm. So from what she's saying, you can guess that these are not educated people. Mm. I mean, local is a, mm. is an, is, you know, people try to do it themselves. Mm. Some people will marry and then they give their wives a pot for a wagon and that's it. Mm. She like, let her burn 12. That's yeah. her business. Mm. And she's the one that knows how that pot will train her kids. You know, so, Oko, that's a business. Whatever the kind of business you start, that's what the woman will use to raise her fi fi family. But in this case, this man did not do that yeah. which is some cultures you will see once she has done it you say i've, I've already established you yes. if the woman is thriving you say it's me that established you yeah. if she's not thriving you say you are not a good money manager. so why did she stay in that kind of marriage it goes back to today so Sorry. we are looking at it in different angles because many women today you are in this marriage where your husband doesn't support you you are forcing yourself to empower yourself. Even your own personal empowerment he still destroyed it yet women like this stayed and now you're fighting each other in over 80 saying that you're not giving food. I'm thinking, so, because lots of people are in that situation today. Even young couples, talk where you'd be surprised. Yeah. But lots of young couples are in that situation whereby they are not happy with their wife. They're not happy with their husband. Both of them are having, they're just managing each other. Mm -hmm. And then because of the kids that are sticking together, 
let us just manage it. But this is part of the results of let us stick together. Yeah. Which, which at first I didn't like the video. I felt like I won't record it. These these are mm. old people in their vulnerable. Probably they fight often, and that guy just, just yeah. record this one. But I, I I am grateful for the person who recorded and put it out now because many of us can see an example. This is not a movie. You know, when you sit in a movie, you be like, mm, Hollywood likes to, I mean, Hollywood likes to exaggerate. Mm. This cannot happen in real life. Uh -uh. Mm. How can a woman say, I'm hungry, I'm shaking, and then she's dragging a, a very old man? Mm. It's, it's just an Hollywood drama. Mm. This one, in real life, it's a major shock that should reverberate through the minds of everybody that is planning to grow old. Mm. Because anything can happen. What if the man is not alive? For mm. me, I like to take responsibility. I feel like if it's to be, it is up to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to blame a man that I'm hungry and shaking. Yes, if a man says that I cannot run my business and I understand the importance of being empowered, I will let the man continue with his life and go to where I can because I cannot, I, this cannot be my future. Mm -hmm. And so women should stop the idea of saying, he said I cannot mm -hmm. do business. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he said I, I, uh, my wife must be a full-time ha housewife. What will happen to you what might of, be this. What of those this of us that want to be housewives? Mm. You desire to, yes, be housewife. to be housewives. If you want to be yes. housewife, you'll have invested. You'll tell him to invest for your future. He should buy you a house. If he wants you to be housewife, he should buy you two houses in your name so that you know that cash flow is coming from those houses. Mm -hmm. You must plan ahead for being housewife. Mm -hmm. So if a man says be housewife, ask for the asset that will take care of me in my old age. Mm -hmm. He must be secure and he must be in my name. Because if not, old age will come. Maybe the man is, maybe the man has Alzheimer's or something, mm. and he's unable to perform. He might not be able to get into his account, mm. but you have spent mm. your entire life as a woman dependent on a man. And then in order, you say hunger is shaking you, God forbid. So th th that's for somebody who didn't do mm. something. Mm. There are marriages that the woman is forbidding to own her own assets. You remove. And they will find religious books to back it up, and they're lying. Because I don't know any religion. Well, the one I practice doesn't say women should not own their own assets or start their own businesses. Mm. You're talking of a situation where the woman has some freedom. So the man will say, I will not give you money. The woman will say, okay, but I can do what I like. So she goes to Tokwe, goes to Moriah, yes, 20, 20 Naira, join it together. She has her own finances to start her business. But some men will say, I say, say, I don't want you outside. House. Somebody will look at you. Somebody, your shape is too shapey. Your yellow is too yellowy. <laughs> I don't want you outside. <laughs> and then he says, I want you indoors. And then fa fast forward 40 years into your marriage, you are helpless here in this situation. Okay. Sure, you will not beat that man as this woman is doing when we are hungry. Let me take this. I come to your marker. Samuel's call. Thanks for calling your live. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry for Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. I'm like, your thoughts so, on this? So it takes, us, it takes me back to what I always say. Choices. Mm. Marry your kind. Follow your <laughs> kind. You don't need to force or beat anybody in 2024 now. Not be so. You, as an individual, self-love. You have to love yourself and ask yourself, what's my 5 year, 10 year, 20, 30 years yeah, plan? Yeah. What do I want out of this life? What do I want to achieve? Do I want to be housewife and depend on a man or another human being squarely? If the answer is yes, now, whatever comes with it, you take it because if the person wakes up angry, that's how your day will go. If the person wakes up uh, 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 sad, mm. that's how your day will go. Mm. But if that's not what you want, then you make... Um, different uh, choices and different decisions, right? Because I don't understand how in 2024, someone will tell you, you cannot work, you cannot do this, you cannot... You know that you came out... This life is not rehearsal, though. This is it. If you, as you want to come out to, in, in this life, you don't want to make a mark. You don't want your name to be printed in the sands of time. You don't... Uh, 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 was here. Uh, you don't want that for yourself. I mean... I don't understand the self love people practice, but if that's what you want, if that's what. But you see, I ladies, see. There's, a, there's a part of us who've not spoken. Let me okay, I have a caller. Mm. Good morning. Thanks for calling your live. Yeah, good morning, Morale. Yes. How are you? Very well. Go ahead, please. Yeah, actually, the, when China was here last week, uh, we discussed about this in terms of train the children, train this and that. And that's not what I'm saying now. Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead, please. So when China was here last week, we talked about train the children or did something like that. It doesn't mean at that age to have that kind of issue. Like, I 99 believe what uh, Papa mentioned now. Plan yourself for future because, and secondly, having a covenant, have a covenant, have a covenant, for you to train the children who will, who will remember you. Thank you very much. Have a lovely Thank you. Time. I didn't hear what you said a lot because, but I was going to go to what Nima said earlier. Bottled up anger. 
mm. in spouses. Mm -hmm. You are frustrated. You know, society forces you to accept a role. Mm -hmm. And you stay in that role. And then you grow up and you have regrets. Mm -hmm. And you're lashing out that anger on your spouse. So, they, and lots of people are in that. Maybe theirs might not be poverty. Theirs might not be different things. You, you said something about maybe not empowering, allowing somebody to even work. But there are other parts of, of, of living with somebody that says, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't have a second degree. No, you have to take care of the children. You can, I remember a story of a woman said, she used to work in, um, in, I think, in Lagos. She got a fantastic opportunity in Port Harcourt, an NPC, I think. Very, it was a big job at the time, three her salary. And her husband said she can't go. And she stayed in Lagos until tomorrow she was still lamenting yeah, that she wished she took that job then because she just stayed home. She eventually lost her job in Lagos. She became a housewife. She just, just, just felt that her entire life was snatched from her. Now imagine someone like that holding up that bottle of anger in her life, going up, accepting the reality. I am a housewife. Let me just take care of my children. My children are enough. And you raise them, you raise them. They now travel around the world. And your husband is there still doing his own business. And you just feel empty. And he's just still dependent. So that frustration is part of what we may be seeing in this woman's anger. So how do we avoid this bottled up anger and frustration that we all just carry in the name of let me manage my, let me carry my own cross? This is a much more easier case compared mm. to. So you see, mm. I have it good. It's just that that one time mm. experience, you've not been able to let it go. Mm. So maybe if you have um, therapy and talk to someone, you can actually let it go. I mean, your economics are not bad. You are not begging. It is not that the man disempowered you enough for you to be in this woman's case mm. where you are totally broke and hungry and helpless. Mm. So you can have the talk. Once I had an event I wanted to go about eight years ago. Can I pause you for a second? Someone from just called back. I don't want to lose him again. Okay. Some, so, oh, I think we lost him. Go ahead. You're talking about exactly oh, sorry, the line. Someone. So I had this event and it was an evening event. I just, my husband just couldn't process going for an evening event. So a friend of mine and myself were invited for that event. It was a close female mentors mm. kind of thing. And by evening, it was in Ikoyi. I got dressed to leave the house around 3. I said, ah, the event starts at 4. I'll be back by maybe 8. And my husband was like, go here. Who was <laughs> without driver, without security. I beg, sit down. And so I didn't go for that event. But my friend went. And my friend would not let me hear the last of it. No. Everybody kept asking of you. Everybody said, you need to And I calculated what I projected. Mm. Would have connected that day. Yeah. Ah. I had to sit him down. I'm going to sit down. See what you have cost me. If this opportunity comes again, and then I don't think I'll be able to let it go. I won't be able to forgive you for it. Well, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Because I had said it now. Maybe, mm. you know, I've been able to ease that anger. But each time I see that my friend flying, mm. who was able to attend, I'm like, ah, you must see your life. You know? So sometimes this, can, this cannot be so bad. If she can have that conversation, it's okay. If it is if the person you're married to, you can't talk to them about how something hurts you, how important things are to you, how you know your sacrifices are not being. Some people we can talk know, to them is the response. They will not answer they you. They not answer you. Hey, they they can't talk. Talk, 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 talk your talk. talk. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you talk. mentioned you mentioned many people living in that frustration mm. for a very long yeah. time mm. because we have a culture of submit, tolerate, mm. submit, endure, endure. Mm. endure. Yeah. You, a good woman endures, a good woman tolerates, a good woman submits, and you will, people stay in that relationship for many years mm -hmm. and hoping that one day it will get better. You know, it will get, it will get better, it will get better, it will get better. You are enduring, yeah. you are tolerating, but you are getting bitter. Mm -hmm. Scientifically, the bitterness of endurance is linked with many chronic diseases. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we know, they've confirmed it. This is not them say, them say, this is scientific. When you are bitter, you are withholding a lot of things, there's cancer, there's a lot of things that follow that would affect you. It's important that we let women give room for women to say, this is, I have a choice. This is my life as well. I had that conversation with my, like, it was just very recent. I said, this decision you are making is affecting my life. I, do, you, do you understand? Like, my life will be affected by this your decision. It's not just about the children, me. And my life is very important to me. <laughs> so think very well. I was like, please, think very well before you make this decision. Because it would affect not just me, but our children. And I, will, I want to follow you. But I need to be convinced that you have given it deep thought. It's not your ego. Mm. It's not your pride. It's not just what everybody around you is saying. Yeah. I think that we need to raise our, our women to be able to speak up and be able to fight for what they strongly believe in. I wish this old woman had fought for her shop. 
-hmm. had fought for that kiosk. Mm -hmm. She had fought mm -hmm. for financial independence mm -hmm. because she would not be crying and mm -hmm. shaking with hunger mm -hmm. if she had fought earlier in her life to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. Now she would not be hungry. Mm. Exactly. Yes. So I remember, like, as I think I have a caller. Hold on, Maka. Hello. Good morning. Are you there? Okay. I'm going to shop. You're going to come back. I'll start with you, Maka. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Uh, I actually came to pay the money for the recruitment consultancy you did for my company. Uh, I think two million. I just hold on. <laughs> I now collect dollars. What? Yes. I don't understand what's happening to Naira these days. So, so it's going to be two million. Ladies and gentlemen, please. To the Sharon and only Pere Egui. Which of the following is false about teeth? We, we, we are born with 20 primary teeth. Mm. Teeth are the hardest substance in the body. Teeth are the strongest bones in the body. Teeth is not a bone, actually. Teeth, uh, teeth uh, can self-repair. The strongest bone in the body. No, teeth is not a bone. Final answer. Teeth is not a bone. You know what came to my head now? That sound. Meh, 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 meh. Crickets. <laughs> so, editor, you can put that cricket sound there. Very just. It's, you can still put it now, too. When was the first ultimate search? Editor, don't put any cricket sound. I'm talking. I'm talking. Okay, Per. How many times has Ghana qualified for the World Cup? <laughs> Five times. Hey, you can't do that now. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Why are you like this? Uh, yeah. This is your team. Small, oh. small play they, now. They, they, they will not Somebody be cannot play with you again. They will not be impressed too. The team that you're supporting and Ghana, Ghana will be all right. Yeah, that's last. Charlie, <laughs> cheers, Charlie. <laughs>
We have to cut that line. She kept listening to herself on TV. All right, so I was going to come to Maka. I mean, we're, we're, we're wrapping up on this. We've not touched the issue of the children. We don't know if there are children involved in this. We don't know how if, I mean, even though, yes, we're trying to live in a modern world where don't depend on your children, but even if you don't, your, 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 your money is not going to totally fend or care for your family. But in the least, something, family, children should at least send something. Don't you think that the kids are also okay. guilty of this? Yes. Yeah, so, for example, um, um, supposing the kids send something or maybe they send to the man's account and maybe that's why she's mm. saying bring out your wallet and bring out money. How about um, couples that don't have kids? Mm. Or how about couples that had kids and their kids are late? Mm. So, you know, we have to take it, it, it uh, yeah, from different perspectives. Depending. Yeah, it should be depending because I can remember, like I said again, choices where um, in the past when I was dating someone that said, he didn't want me to be traveling so often for work. And then an amazing, and then that, that year, I told my sister, that I'm going, this year I'm going to be a Proverbs 21 woman. <laughs> Submissive, in fact, everything. And my sister said, okay, let's watch. And then an opportunity, big opportunity came up within the oil and gas industry. And <laughs> I now called him, I said, ah, the CEO that I have to travel, oh, this opportunity came up. He said, don't I know that they are supposed to call my man to take permission? Like if, eh? if we were married, don't I know that they are supposed to call my husband to take permission before? Eh? That day, I yeah, forgot that I was in Proverbs 21. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't flew. I said, I went off. When I was just in my sister, of course, I, I, went, I took my opportunity. When I was just in my sister, my sister said, uh, uh, what happened to Proverbs 21 woman now? I said, well, she was an industrial woman, industrial woman too. She was also a woman who was taking care yeah. of her thing. So the Proverbs 21 doesn't mean that you just be subservient or something. But you know the way, the, the moral <laughs> aspect, like the, most, the, way, the way churches preach, submissive 21, you have yes. to do this and answer to the okay, man. Let me so take this call from Mrs. Ola. From Ikorodu. Thanks for calling, madam. You're live. All right. Hello, can I start the, again now? We can hear you very clearly. Go ahead, please. Okay. I'm a first time caller. Come to the show. Uh, please, uh, um, on this topic you are discussing, I felt for the old woman and the old man. Uh -huh. So... Actually, we cannot really say the two couples they don't plan their life. But much of the problem here lies in the hands of our um, men. You know, they are Nigerian men. They think they have all all what it takes over the, their wife. Actually, it may be the hunger because the man did not allow the old woman to trade when she was younger. That makes the woman to stand up against him now. But it's, it's late. It's late. So we need to be prayerful. And Thank you very much, Ola. Which goes to what Tokwe said earlier. If you want to fight, fight early. Mm -hmm. Not when you're 80, 70, you start regretting. Well, if you want to have that hassle, that they're going to want to haggle it out. Better start haggling now with your husband <laughs> and try to get I, I, what, what you said. want. Because I usually see your thirties or forties post these things online. Mm -hmm. It's wickedness, mm -hmm. and be, that was my first thought. That, oh, when I come on the show today, I was say like, who was that wicked person that recorded this? Mm -hmm. Now I'm saying, who? Is, I'm grateful for the person who recorded it because now mm -hmm. we can see a sample of what we never want to be like. Mm -hmm. I am um, the vice chairman of my um, zone, my mm -hmm. community, and we were doing a meeting, and the, the, the people were like, you know them, you know people that come for community. Meetings, a lot of them are retired. Mm. It was like, oh, I'm retired. What I do in my time is I volunteer for many organizations and I want my community to be safe. And he said, what I'm, I have to focus on my investment, that he had to sell some properties in Nigeria and borrow properties abroad. He said, because I don't want to stress my children to be paying for my business class ticket for me and my wife to travel. Mm. He said, all I just need is to earn about a few thousands of dollars on a monthly basis, 1,000, 2,000. That way, if I save, I can buy my ticket mm. for me and my and like. That's a man already, he's retired though, he's in his 70s and he's still planning and converting some of his Naira investment into another diamond because he realized he's spending, all his children are abroad, he wants to visit them and he doesn't want to burden the children to pay for his tickets. He said, I know they, they, they want to buy me economy and I cannot fly economy, so I met my wife must travel business class, so I must reconvert. We were having the, and I just appreciated the wisdom from a retired person, for me as a young person to know how I'm planning my finances ahead of the time not depending on my children to be the one to sort me out mm. in old age. I think we can wrap up on this. Yeah, go ahead. No, I just want to say that that fight that you want to fight, if it is not productive, mm. that's your no, no, your key mm. to step out. Exactly. Not asking everybody to just jump and leave their marriages. Mm. I'm just yeah. saying what I yeah. have experienced. Let me take our final call. I have... Okay, go on. Go ahead. Sorry about that. I have to... Alaji. 
from Joseph. I'll come to you. Go yeah, ahead. good morning. Elijah Ahmed, go ahead, please. Yeah, as everything, you know, I greeted, I greet, I'm greeting every one of you in the house. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, happy Easter. I wish you the same. I always, I always enjoy your program. Thank you, Seriously. sir. Seriously. I always enjoy your program. Mm -hmm. See, this thing is not funny. It's not funny at all. You see, when you have a wife at all, and you can't plan for your wife, in fact, you get yourself to blame in the future, especially when you are getting old, or especially when something happens to you. Don't think because uh, you, you are having today, Something might not happen tomorrow. No. When you, are, when, when you are in this world, when you are going out, you need also to plan for your wife. You need to plan for your future. Once you are doing something and you are getting something, call your wife. Call your wife to attention. My wife. If, if you really love your wife, call your wife. Don't even have any biased mind to her. Let her find something doing. Let them, you plan, you plan with her towards the future. Though it's only God that has everything at hand, but whatever you lay your hand on, God will prosper it. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ahmed. This um, um, case, I had a person who sister reached out to me on an abuse, abusive marriage of a younger sister up north. And this lady entered the marriage not knowing that she was going to meet a senior wife. Mm. She met that one being thoroughly abused, TSV, uh, domestic mm. violence case, serious one. Mm. So she joined and they continue with both of them. She strategized within a number of years as she was having kids to make sure that she leaves that marriage with something. Mm. So whatever money she got, she got a master's. The money she had a PhD ah, that's in that marriage with the beating. Proper planning. planning. With the beating. And fast forward to last year, she reached out to me for legal services. I said, okay, if you can get yourself to Lagos mm. free, we did not even do any court case. She has removed. Hmm. And she has started to empower herself. And when I look at her age and what she has been able to achieve in such a serious so situation. Strategic. Yeah. Strategic even in the midst of the trauma. In the midst trauma. of the trauma. How do I... Yeah. I'm already here. Just how do I come back? Yes. And even when she came back, it was a, an abusive method that they tried to use to get her back. And she came home to family safety. Mm. Now, that's important. the important. Everything that worked hand in hand because... For the father, in fact, the father still alive saw the gory pictures and things that had happened over the years, and he was in tears that he put his daughter. We have to wrap up on this, but remember, we need everything to work um, together for C good. CP, the lack of bad one said that she's going to see what she can do to support these people, mm -hmm. and I hope that she's able to reach out to them. We can find them, we can, find we can them. support them at least for some time until they they're able to have some kind of structure mm -hmm. to feed themselves. But I think that's all we can take. But less, the lessons we've learned pretty much from this is that plan for your future. Mm -hmm. It's never easy anywhere, and even with all your planning. Mm -hmm. Anything, yeah, anything has still happened, and it's, so it's only it's really God that can can help us here. But the truth is that this was not um, a very interesting video to watch. It was really mm. painful to see people in their age. It's time for them to be having a semi rest of mind. Peace of mind. That's when they are haggling over uh, money for food and stuff like that. Okay, that's all we can take on this topic. When we come back, we'll move on to the next topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. What the? Today, Apple got a really expensive ride. Chill, Abu. Use InDrive and negotiate for the most fair price for you. Fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. A.K.A. Thunder Qua, A.K.A. Cross. Are like your intro without you? Know? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. You think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? 
Sotterfuge. Sotterfuge. S U B T E L F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called for such such The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, it was <laughs> actually a mistake. <laughs> like <laughs> it was sending it to someone, and it just instinctively just. It's it's bad, yeah. Gentlemen, Mel Nayapamba, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, Anifula Fokuti, aka yeah! YK Power! Ginger! Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, yeah, today, ginger me, yeah, ginger today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, said 75. 75. I call him. Fellas, I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So will I drink out? Eh? You go drink. Oh. Take, 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 make I go make I help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No be half. I try. Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in in all. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa oh. Road. Nepa Road. <laughs> in Avel Ah <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. He does that. Oh, mo ah. Hey, oh, mi omo fella. Oh, mi omo anikula pokuti. Oh, no, pe kini kekele. It's my eldest son. It's not my eldest son. Eh, eh. Ladies and gentlemen, the one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, Abby. Yeah. It was great. Okay, yeah. Thank we, you. We, we thank try you. like that. Thank you, thank you. Now my question, which I feel is a cheap question. Oh, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I will drink. <laughs> no, you're joking. I'm not joking. Clear your mind. No. Say you didn't want me. You want me now? I think I will drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym is. Tell me the, the the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know I even became an ambassador. That is that's very easy. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, out there. it's supposed to be, yeah. I just said, let's make a give you this one as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Sony. Drink! Oh, wait, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there! <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there! <laughs> you did not, you did, you Thanks for staying with us. According to an on, another online story, a woman narrated how um, her husband has been using juju to sleep with her daughter. According to her, she says, I have failed as a mother. I was guarding my daughter from the outside world. I forgot to guide her or guard her uh, from the enemy within. This sad story caught quite a bit of attention online. And it reminds us again of a story of um, Dr. Femi Olala. Olai, Olai, Laleye. Laleye, mm. who also recently jailed uh, for a similar story. Um, but in this case, 
In this particular case, this woman felt that she has failed her child for not guiding her or guarding her against the enemy within. Um, and lots of people are also in this situation. You would think that when an Alala story happened, many would have understood the importance of protecting the girl child, especially even the boy child. These days, there are lots of helps that are molesting um, girls and boys and girls also. So what are your thoughts in this particular case, though? Her husband is molesting or is raping her child. Her daughter is possible. I don't know if he's a biological father. I don't know if it is a stepfather. We don't know the details. But um, mothers find it difficult. I don't know why that today mothers still make this like an issue of conversation to ask for help, to help. You know, they'll look for somebody to, and this is happening. And I'm thinking, this is a no-brainer. Con there's, there's no conversation in this. There's the fact. You shouldn't. I don't understand. But people still feel the need. People still feel the need to ask for help. They panic. This situation. It's, it's the panic because, like, for me, it's well, open and shut. Yes. You, there, there, there's no, there's no, can I discuss? Can there's I, no discussion. There's no discussion. There is you arrest the person and get it. I mean, what, arrest what? where you have, you know, like, it's not a, it's not an easy decision mm. to make. Mm. It's a shocking experience to anybody that finds themselves in that situation. Mm. And you, you just, you just want to, you want to be sure you're not insane. You know, like, because at the end of the day, in most cases, we are more conscious of the uncles, the neighbor, the security man, the driver. We never think that it would be incest. And so when people find themselves in incest, there are many categories of conversation we need to, people need to have. Should we, would I want to arrest my... Would it, how would the other siblings feel about the situation? How would family members feel about it? How would everybody now get to know that this is what I'm going through? The entire world will know that this is my experience. Like, it is a whole lot of what you will see as not necessary or important, but we can't wish it away. People would think that way and feel that way. So maybe what you now get is su um, support from those you reach out to to make you feel like, go take it to court. You need to do this to support your daughter. You need to do this regardless of how the family will feel about you. Culturally, what we do in this situation is you hide the situation, resolve it within the family. I say, pamisilema, pamisita. Like, let's resolve this thing at home. Let's not make it a public thing. It should not become a public shame, but um, she, she is valid in reaching but, out. Amaka, let me call okay, your So, like, back in the day, when I was living in Port Harcourt, I went, I visited my tailor, and I met a lady with a, new, with a newborn baby and, like, a three-year-old girl, and she was crying. She was weeping bitterly. I kept wondering, like, what was going on? So the seamstress, the tailor told me, please, I should give her some time. I shouldn't be upset, you know. And she kept, you know, hushing and speaking to this lady for a while and consoling her. After a while, she, the lady got into um, the car, taxi, and left. And I asked her, I said, oh, what's going on? She said that the lady has been crying, that her husband has been molesting that three-year-old mm. child. Oh. I, I was so mad. I said, why didn't you tell me? Mm. She said yeah. that they're trying to, like, hide it and everything. I said, okay, why has she not left it's like she not called the police. What's going on? He said that the woman just had a newborn baby. She doesn't have a job. She doesn't know how she's going to leave her husband. She's trying to still hush. I was so mad. A <laughs> three-year-old child. It's it goes sad. back to, she, see, I don't know. I, I understand all the various factors people can consider. But I think we need to start getting people angry about mm -hmm. stuff like this. Where it's not time. to because when you think about it. That's when you introduce all the factors. Mm -hmm. But the moment something like this happens, I don't think women should start processing. Mm -hmm. It's something that should be automatic. Where You know how when you live abroad, automatic, you do 911. You don't even think <laughs> of there's something wrong oh, with you. 911, yeah. automatic. We need to start getting women to that point where these kinds of issues is not, a, it's not up for conversation. Yeah. It's for immediate arrest and persecution. I know, Nima, let me come to you because this, this is your area. You have lots of people here that are persecuting. <laughs> All sort of it's cases like this. Yeah, Titi revival. I know. I sent somebody to her. Just this happened. Is, Interestingly, mm -hmm. just I got a call. I'm not going to mention the name of the person that called me because I gave her Titi's number mm -hmm. immediately. I said, call Mrs. Vival. She would definitely be. This to found out a teacher has been raping, was, was molesting a child during examination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to bring her to probably talk about when, when they're ready for this conversation. Mm -hmm. The teacher molested the child while they were doing an examination mm -hmm. and told her he would give her the, the answers, the yes. marks. Oh, my God. At that age. This was a child. This happened 
Very recent, though. Very recent. I told her, I just get, please call Titi immediately. That ah. she, will, she will be all over this case like white on rice. So you cannot go wrong with Titi, but let me come to you because well, you... For this case, um, too many un un unsubstantiated claims mm. um, for me. So they use Juju mm. to sleep okay. with the girl. Mm. They use uh, so Juju blindfold on me. Spiritual blindfold on me. So I cannot see. As I can't see. You know, uh, it just it doesn't just tie your, tidy up properly for me. I think that this woman um, actually failed mm. in the sense that she wasn't an on top of things mother. I know that I'm not going to sit here as an African guy and say there's no juju. But I'm, I, I don't think, I think everybody just uses it excuse. When, it, yes, when it works and it doesn't work for you. So you're in a house with a man with this kind of tendencies and you'd rather just say, oh, no juju. Why I'm saying this is because we, there was a case of a, of a former neighbor. She just moved recently. Where she was telling me about how the young girl that they brought from the village to stay with her mom mm. was being abused by a neighbor, an older man. So the girl was about 15 and she finally fell pregnant. When they asked who, the, who is the man, she pointed to the man. The man was an older man. So that one now brought religiosity into it and the wife now came and said, you want to break my home? The woman now went on the defense of the man now stating that the young girl was a witch that she wants to break her home. Nobody was addressing Mm. that the girl was pregnant mm. and that mm. the man had had a, an underage sex with this girl, mm. you know. And everybody was just, the wife was trying to deflect. They deflected all the way to the police station and back. So now the girl has, at the time they came to me, the girl had the baby and they needed maintenance. And the man would just not have anything to do with the girl. The wife at home has mandated that nothing of such will happen. When you now come down to it, they have religionized it. They have found the spirituality, something, something to deflect all the, important issues in the in the case talking about you when know? you talk about religious and I mean, spiritualized i remember a story of a woman who was telling i think it was a mother she told me no I, I think had the opportunity to meet the daughter whose father had molested her thank god she never got pregnant mm. and she said her mother knew about it mm. and her mother didn't do anything about it mm -hmm. so i then met her met mother somewhere else mm. and i was trying to so i was like oh, i met your daughter i said ah mariah that she doesn't talk to me and i was wondering Said, then what happened? I thought, saw her. She said um, that she didn't, she didn't tell me anything. She said she won't tell you. And she's like, I failed my child because her, mm. my husband was sleeping with her. And the only reason why I kept mom was because I was not empowered. Financial empowerment is one mm. reason women say that they cannot leave their husbands because that's the only way. You're not the only person. I have four children. If he's molesting one, at least he's taking care of the million three. That's the mentality <laughs> some women have that, okay, yes. Right. Just look at yourself as, as, as a what we sacrifice. This is the problem. Now. But he's feeding us. He's paying the school fees of these other children. He's been a father to these other children. You, so that is where... So this woman was ad admitting to me that she was blind. She was foolish then. Mm. But now she knows better. But her mother will never forgive her. So enlightenment is extremely important. And, and when we yeah. say enlightenment, it's not even about financial. It's about letting people understand, letting parenting enlightened women, enlightened to understand your responsibility and who your responsibility is called to. Before you have children, you're responsible to your, wife, your husband. When you have children, your responsibility shifts to taking care of those children and ensuring they are protected. I also think that as a society, we have condoned this thing for so long. It has become like it happened. You're not the first person. Jekabu, let's cover it. We need to start seeing more people come out. I had a... Um, I spoke at an event, and the woman that stood before me had breast cancer, and she said the reason breast, uh, breast cancer doesn't get as funded is because people assume that if you have it, you're dead, because very few people come out to say, I've survived it. Mm, yeah. We don't talk about it. That woman that has gone through it, that has been able to rescue her children, built a family outside the husband, mm. does not come out to say, I left my husband because he was molesting my children. Mm. When we don't see success stories, we don't believe it is possible. Mm. So every woman feels like, if I leave my husband because of this molestation process, I would end up being um, lonely, I would end up losing everything. Yeah. We need those success stories. We need to see women that say, I survived. I was beaten, I stood up. I left the house, I, I rescued my daughter, I rescued my son from being molested, and my children are doing well today. When we hear those stories, it helps, to, to, it helps those people that are in a dilemma, wondering yeah. what to do. Let me to take say this there's an option, okay, I can do one. well, even if I go then, outside here. Let me come to you, Amaka. Men, and maybe one of these is we have a man on the show. I know we don't, we've treated this in the past. What will make a man? Hey. Molest no, no, ma, no, ma, no, ma, no, ma. There's no there's other no, story. No, because I've heard no there, there, was a, there was recently where, 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 where um, 
what's his name? He's an actor. Was mm. was dancing with his daughter. Yeah. We didn't take the story here because we just thought it was just for me. It was it was one of those stories that mm. there's just no way to. It was just it. there's no how to say that story. So we just chose not to take that story. But the, that story broke where an actor was dancing with his daughter in a way that people just very said it was very seductive mm. dancing, and people interpreted it in different ways. And somebody then said, oh, her own father almost kissed her with her tongue or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. people started coming up with all these things. Some would say, oh, my father was drunk. I, I, he kissed me on the lip and I felt his tongue. Others would say, my father touched me once by my, my, my chest. These things, we've heard these things. But maybe they, didn't, they, they would admit to you that it went all the way. And some would just say, but what to make a father touch his child? I don't know. We're not men. We're not in that situation. Maybe we can have an idea. So yeah. for, for, first off, I think these people are sick. It's just oh, they, there's, 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 there's something is not aligning well with them, right? Because how can you be attracted to your own child? A child God has given you to protect, to nurture. It is sad. There's nothing right about it. So I want to believe that any, anybody that's even doing this, right, is, is sick in the head. And then secondly, well, in an African setting where... Most times people, uh, that now I, it takes me back to the juju thing, right? So most times people do things um, out of spirituality, um, for spirituality powers, or that, okay, they said mm. if I do this, I, I have to sleep with my child, maybe to make money, or maybe I have mm. a, a, a certain kind of yeah. a terminal yeah. illness, yeah. and they said that the only way I can get cured is if I sleep with my daughter, or, you know, people come up with so many, you find that in some traditions, the way they say the first daughter cannot marry, because uh, the father has to be sleeping with her, the father, you know, people, a lot of things really happen. And people know about these things and they still condone it. Mm. Because how can you as a mother, what do we say about that woman that knew and said because of money, because she was not financially, she must be, oh. But Amaka, there are also stories of women who have slept with their sons. So yeah. there's a part of our brain. That doesn't interpret that this is my child. No. Doesn't, I'm, I'm just I'm wrong. asking where to. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking yeah, because yeah, maybe if Kobe Ajulu was here, you know she, she has all these uh, no, psychological mental, things. Mental problem. Yeah, it's a mental it's problem. A mental but problem. there are some women that will sleep with this. Their husband died many years ago. Oh, call me. And mm. he'll sleep on their bed. Mm. And before you know it, he's now somebody they are happen. touching. Oh, things are happening. It's mental, happening. So it's, it's a mental, mental situation. Yeah. But the truth is that there are some men also that do the same thing with their So we mystify what we don't understand. Yes. It's a culture. Mm. When, when, if this water is carrying people away, ah, it's a God in the water that is carrying them away. away. So if, if, we, if we see something that is unusual, yeah. we want to just assume that this thing can, could only have happened because... Yeah. There is a spiritual dimension. Let me pause you a second. I have Dr. Olusha. But a lot of times it is mental. Olusha has been holding for a minute. I'll come back to you. Talk away. Dr. Olusha, you're live. Go ahead, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Very much, man. You are doing a great job for our nation. Thank you, sir. And I know that the uh, government is taking note of many things you are saying. And uh, he has given us a leader who is a father now to us. And this is talking about elderly. I think a point I want to make is that government has been planning for every stage of our life from when we are born to should plan for all the stages, from when we are born to when we die. Now, if this crisis were to be a student crisis, they would take it to National Assembly and beg their door that they are hungry. But these elderly people of 70 years old and above, they cannot do that. And that's why they are putting their heads together to fight. So what government should do in any restructuring that will come is to plan for these 70 year old and above. You know, there should be a specific plan in the, in the Constitution that gives them access to resources of Nigeria so that they don't need to even depend on their children. So by doing that, we are relieving the burden on uh, the people who are having... Thank you a, so a, much, Dr. Sir. That was an important point you forgot to mention, that the truth that other countries, mm -hmm. there is elders plans for all the people. Mm -hmm. um, there is, I think there's a Medicaid in the U.S. or something mm -hmm. like that, or Medicare, where they actually help old people and you get certain stipends every month. Mm -hmm. So that's, those are part of the insurance where that the country, social security, a country should provide for its citizens. So you're absolutely correct. That's, in, that's where we have a proper structure in place, a proper system in place to protect old people so they don't have to depend on their children. Going back to the topic we're talking about, um, this woman also in that story she didn't go about it well mm. in the story she said it was revealed to her at the spiritual house that this was happening she says mm. she she acts dance around the house mm. and her daughter that she's trying to dress up to go out mm. also acts dance so she went for spiritual prayers and they mm. told her to do a certain thing and she would dream mm. and that her daughter will also reveal some things to her which mm. was then how she found out her husband was doing this. So she's not going about it truly well. But the part I want to deal with is the part where she said the daughter 
also said the man was making acknowledge, uh, uh, acknowledge what happened yeah. to her. So she's now threatening to kill him, that she's gathering evidences. At this point, you work with the right people. Yeah, yes. the police. If, for instance, true through the day Lagos, she would just be at the DSVA because mm. it's possible that he drugs her. That's why she asked this. Mm. It's also possible that exactly. he drugs the girl to have sex with the girl. So if you take them, there will still be residue of such of, process yes. in her bloodstream. Mm. Uh, Mirabel Center, they do that. When they do their psychosocial support, mm. they take everything. So if it is an inducement so, but, yes. through drugs or something... They deal with it. Yes. They gather the right evidence. Because if you now approach a court, mm -hmm. this man will just get away with it. Mm, he will yeah. walk free mm -hmm. with this kind of attitude yes, of, right of if you, you can't come to court and rely on spiritual dreams yes. to <laughs> prove this. You know, so True. she's just not doing things well for me in the story. And I, I think the pity party is unnecessary. She sounds educated enough. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she's emotionally broken at this time. Mm. But it is time to pick yourself up and find justice the right way. So when you say fine, let, let, so let, let, let's work it as justice. Mm. So God forbid today you find out, you, um, a, a woman finds out her husband is sleeping with, and you're not in Lagos. Lagos, we know go to mm. where to. Mm -hmm. Now, other communities outside where, Lagos. outside Lagos, where there might not be a proper system in place, mm -hmm. what should a woman do? Okay, so NAPTIP is in every state. NAPTIP. NAPTIP mm. is also one of the agencies that do this. So go to the nearest police station, station. or native office. Mm -hmm. And if you must gather evidence outside Lagos, if you don't have Mirabel Center and all those mm -hmm. recognized agencies in those states, approach the general hospitals mm -hmm. in that state and state your case. So hopefully, you don't find a doctor who is also hiding this. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that telling you to yeah. money? Let me well, come to you. Approach NAPTIP. NAPTIP is the agency to go to. Okay, so let me come to America. Let me have Theresa. Theresa, thanks for calling. Hello, good yeah, morning. Hello. Good, good morning. morning. Right. Today's a... Uh, Today's topic is, is, is making me to shed tears because this kind of a thing happened in my family. I'm telling you. They are, just, they are reminding me what happened 20 something years ago. My cousin who raped his daughter, the only daughter he has. I'm telling you. The husband is a banker. One day, she, she, that, I think that particular day, I don't know how God, you know, did the whole thing. She left the office to the house only for her to find her husband on top of her daughter. The only daughter he has. Four boys, one girl. You know? So the matter was too, the, the woman could not control herself. What she did was to drag the man naked outside. You know, it was neighbors. And in fact, she wanted to she went and go and carry a cutlass. She wanted to kill his husband instantly people gathered and they were able to rescue the man from uh, from her you know at the end of it all so this man was taken to a church where they gathered and uh, at least uh, get some blood for him to put on the information reached they were living at Port Harcourt by then the information now reached home you know the mother have uh, his mother was alive by then you know his mother don't know what happened to, do to the man eventually what happened to the man eventually Hey, the, the thing is that uh, the matter up here now, you know, the trauma is still in him. The thing is just disturbing him. Because the wife said he can never smell our family again, no matter what. Okay. He can never smell. And the wife, even as the tomorrow, the wife is still waiting for this man to enter that family again. But the girl has gone. She has gotten married. I know her both about the sons and everybody is doing well. But that trauma is still disturbing uh, the wife up there now. Thank you, you very know. much. Mm. So, yeah, it, it, it's sad. And like you, you said that, you know, they are not still going to say, okay, he needs deliverance mm. and if he needs of yes. handling the he issue fight, yeah, yeah, no. in, in the right way. But then, I mean, everything, like when that lady was busy being angry and talking about Juju and everything, I, de I didn't hear her say that she took her child to hospital. Mm. You need to go and check what's going on with the child. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um, STDs, Pregnancy, psychological therapy. psychological therapy. You need to focus on that first. Thank you. Do you understand? That's after calling uh, the police for us, and then make sure that that child is okay because psychologically, that child is damaged for yes. life. Before calling police for your husband, your child should be your 100% parity. The Hospital. successful rape case I have seen and handled mm. is the one where the mother prioritized the child over, over everybody Anger. else. Yes. She took that girl, the day the girl called home and said, I have just 
She mm. took her daughter straight to Mirabel. All the psychosocial, mm. she went there religiously, the religiously, till the girl got all of the treatment, all samples taken, mm -hmm. and then they approached for arrest yes. the man that did it, yes. and then they went on. Police exactly. case started three months after, mm -hmm. but the immediate thing was the girl's care. Yeah. She was put on uh, anti something drugs to mm. prevent. HIV and any sexually yeah. transmitted disease. Yeah, yeah. And that drug particularly made her sick. Mm -hmm. So sick that she wanted to skip a day. And it was supposed to be for about 21 days mm -hmm. of use of that drug. The mother insisted and mm -hmm. she finished it. The girl was thoroughly taken care oh. of. So when we went for the prosecution, mm -hmm. they, it was, a, it it was yes. like this. Tight, yes. Like this. They got a conviction. Mm -hmm. But if you prioritize, if you're angry yeah, or too angry, yeah. well, I like what this caller said, her mm. sister, her cousin mm. did. Mm. You know, when you cover it up and you first fall close the door, mm. the perpetrator, you have, a, you have licensed him for life. You exactly. do another one. Exactly. But you see that public disgrace, even though it was 20 years ago, that was the way traditionally things yeah. were handled. If you find an ember, you shame, throw the shame away, drag him outside, yes. make it a case. Already shamed him. So you have shamed him. That, will, that one, they will tag him. I know where I'm from. They start to call him that man that can condemn. It's the way they used mm -hmm. to use. But they took him to him. church eventually because they, they uh, because that's their interpretation that he's possessed. They made it, they made it open. Mm -hmm. They made it open so that girl might no longer be such a victim mm -hmm. in her life again. Mm -hmm. She but received they assurance that. from yes. her parents and, and her family. community. So that was, thank you for the word assurance mm -hmm. because some parents, some of, some 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 people that are just very very, I, I don't. I'm trying to write, find the right word. I don't want to say laid back, but mm -hmm. some parents don't like that exposure. Mm -hmm. They don't want, they have a, they have a big it. name. They don't want people adding it to them. Ah, that ex 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 daughter was raped too. It was her father that touched her. So because of that, they are very, very careful in coming to a mirable center or coming to me, please, I need help. So sometimes it's, it's the, 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 need, the, the child needs an assurance on however you take. So aside from you trying to protect your name and identity, mm -hmm. What your child is seeing, observing, is even more crucial because it will help her in future to help her dignity of, of, as, as a person. Like, okay, this I, am, I was not raped because I allowed it. I was raped because the other person was the guilty party. But, but when, you, when you make it look as if it's all about a family name, protecting, what you're doing is damaging the child mm -hmm. for life. And I like so you're correct. I, that, that, that first question from the mother that, how did you go, how did you dress? Yes. Mothers do that. Mm. How did you sleep? Mm. How did you kill it? Mm. That kind of question could kill the confidence of the child mm -hmm. to want to pull through. Mm. Then if the child is sharing something with you, mm. especially those of us who have daughters and their children decide to share something with you mm. and they expect you to keep it private mm. for them, mm. you have to continue to reassure that if I'm going public with this, it's for your best interest. You must start from that point so that she doesn't feel betrayed. Mm. We've seen cases where young girls will come and uh, they tell their mother that it never happened. Yeah. That I don't know what my mommy is saying. Mm. That's worse. Yes. You just, the girl will open her and say, I don't know what my mommy is saying. So you need to reassure her and you need to follow through. What you, what you are following through does, when she sees you stand up every time mm. through and through the matter, mm. she believes that mm. in this world there's justice. Yes. It's not that where you follow her for you say, ah, now we don't know what to eat. Mm. So we don't have what to eat. We have to go back to the perpetrator, you know. Yeah. You have to follow it through. But, what, but which same mother will put name? Above. Above. Like it just, it, it, it just oh. shows you how shallow minded ah, you people are. Ah, you were surprised. That's, that's a good shallow one. Yeah. And you're wondering, like I said, yeah, the bigger why? the name, the more you protect the name. People stay in broken, in broken marriages. People stay in, they are being beaten. A child being molested, yes, yeah. and your, your, as in your own is named. Let's take your comments on social media as we, as we, as we continue. Don't know why our tweets. Good morning. Hello. I have a call from Stanley. Stanley, thanks for calling. You're live. Hello, Mariah. Good morning. Good morning, Sir Stanley. Yeah, um, you are doing well with your crew. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Thank you. Yeah, um, you see this issue. You see this issue um, you are treating this morning is very, very important. You see, let me tell you, um, some of these problems are due to um, sometimes negligence. And... Um, um, let me tell you, it happens between man and woman. I've seen a situation where you have all these um, women employ male house, uh, even uh, 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 um, younger house have for that personal purpose. Okay, and um, secondly, uh, we see uh, uh, 
this issue of um, uh, 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 well, it's a general bad behavior. It's a general bad behavior. Yeah. Okay. So the only way we have to, the only way we we'll solve this problem is number one, our culture. Do you know that in some Arab words, you don't even mention this because the man or the person involved is going to be killed in the Arab world. You sleep with your daughter, you sleep with a minor. They don't even mention, they don't even bring it to the public so that they can protect the name of the family and um, whoever. That can, but then the culprit is going down for it. So it's just here in Nigeria, even some parts of the core north practicing Muslims, you can't see it. It happens. But before the, the, the culture and the religion has already taken care of it. Stanley, there's, 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 there's a school of thought that says that when things like this happen, the best, and this, this is another angle, mm. the best thing is to keep it quiet. Mm. Heal within, help the child, get the father to ask for forgiveness, and just wrap it up. Mm. The child will still grow up normally, mm. get married, and everybody moves on. The father will be sorry that it's westernization that makes us bring it out to the fore. And when you bring it out to the fore, it, it, it brings more shame, it brings more depression, it brings more frustration to the family, and, 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 and that's what causes the problem. Because when you are enlightened, you feel like, oh, I must speak my mind, I must, tell my, I must share my truth. But how other people so have found a way to ha handle this way let's hand let's cover it up i believe that's i, 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 I like believe that priority okay. should be placed on the, the mental health of the child because many people never recover from that what you see the facade outside is like it's okay but the person actually in most cases are not okay yeah, but you don't know and also I, I person is not okay until person is an adult yes. as a child the, yes. the child might become brilliant and school because it happened to her when she was three four years old yes. she might not even know and, we, to and we need to also, like I said, we, need, we don't hear stories of these things. Yeah. And if we don't hear stories, we cannot draw up examples. We don't have data to judge yeah, how reference. it works out to reference. But what we know is that if a child is molested, um, even um, from out with, without being a family member, it has long term. Mm. Even when they repress the memory, yes. even when they don't remember, it has long term psychological effect mm. on the child. Now, uh, now putting a situation where the person, the child is molested by a family member, a trusted person, mm -hmm. it's a worst scenario. They have a trigger okay. every time they see that person. Mm -hmm. There needs to be conversation on how to ensure that child is mentally um, debriefed mm -hmm. through a psychologist. So that, that's a modern day coach. healing. But let me, let me, let me come to okay, that. So you, you, said, you made the comment here. You said um, then um, the, the heal within, then the father will apologize, yes. then the father is sorry. How about a situation whereby the father is not sorry? Mm -hmm. The father does not apologize. Mm -hmm. And he's still claiming I'm the man. And the man, how dare you say that? And then tomorrow again, he goes again to continue molesting the child. But what the then child happens said. in that situation? Will you keep mm -hmm. covering it up and he continue to heal within? Not if you mm -hmm. cover it up. Uh -huh. There was one that we broke these blogs. She um, survived her mom. Mm -hmm. but her dad decided to sleep with her. The day the girl, you know, and cover it up was the method because she didn't have help. The day she decided that, daddy, I don't want to. He withdrew her school fees, everything. She came online to beg for money for you school, house, and, you know, for her to complete. Because he was in a private university. Mm. And he compelled that she either continues or he doesn't pay her fees. So to cover it up doesn't work. It has yes. to be, when you center it around the family name and all of that, those are the unimportant things. Mm -hmm. Family name, after a while, some family name. Now that can go rebelliously destroy the name. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you people did not put me first. first. You can't sacrifice any child no. over fa family name. Let me take this call from Kingsley. Thanks for calling Kingsley. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Morning, sir. How can you cover a shameful and evil things up? It's not good. Honestly, it's like meeting your wife, you know, flirting or having an evidence that your wife messed up or you had a right handed, you got your wife with a man. How can you cover it up? It's like as if. If you killed somebody, you will go to jail. The family may forgive you. The husband may forgive. The wife may forgive. But the, 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 the land, the landlord cannot, the land or the woman cannot forgive you. So 90 or 100 percent issue of this to expose and inform everybody that look at what is happening, look at what is happening. How can you cover a shameful thing that a man that climbed on a daughter 
or you see your wife, let's assume you see your wife, or you see your husband, right handed inside the bedroom. No, we can't say it's no. We need to expose it. Forget about the trauma. Forget about this. Uh, uh, the, okay, look at what the last caller says. The, 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 the girl let her marry. Call the shameful thing. Call the bad thing a bad thing. Thank you very much. That's Thank me. you very much, Kinsey. Let's take some. Let's take a few comments on social media. Um, uh, someone says, even wealthy women don't leave their abusive husbands. Um, uh, Fiona <laughs> says, yes, Naptip helped my friend. Helped my friend. When her husband was sleeping with her three daughters, all less than seven years old. Oh my mm. gosh! Before our That's eyes. That's not normal. Uh, hey. Who? No, it says even wealthy women yeah. don't leave don't their leave. husbands. So it's not about names. It's not about, yeah. about names. It's not about, it's not about, about being society. independent. Yes. It's about the society. About you know, I was saying, I, was, I think I've shared this story with you guys before. Mm. When we were talking about the trauma. You know, I mean, sometimes you look at the good sides of. I had, I had a car accident in the U.S. and mm. and that accident, part of my memories. The doctor told me that for life. It's gone for life because I, I shook my brain. So he told me that there are some parts where you come back over the years, others are gone for life. So when I moved back home, I went to, I will never forget that party. And I, I shared it before. I went to a party at the Obers Palace back then. And it was a gathering, family members were there. And there was this particular guy. I know the face. I know this man. I don't remember his name, but I just started shaking. He was looking at me, he wanted to come and greet me, and as he was approaching me, I was, like, I was practically shaking. I was not trying to find in my memory, like, what is it about this guy? I couldn't find it. But I was literally shaking when this guy was coming close to me. And the guy was looking, he had this sheepish way of looking at me, oh, she's all grown up now, that kind of look. And he was coming to come and say hello. And as he came, I was just, I couldn't even respond. So these things, but see, the, the, the point I was trying to make, the effect. point I was trying to make is that what you don't know, won't hurt might you. Not hurt you. Well, it might not hurt you. Mm. Because you are maybe you, I'm, right. I'm just trying to look at the other side of the conversation. Mm. So you are molested at four or five years old mm. and maybe your mother found out and just kind of just, you know, got the guy arrested, whatever you and find a way to help you out of it. But you as a child now grow up and society not telling me, ah, that thing that happened to you. Imagine if you had no memory of it. Maybe you still live a normal life. It's not possible. No, it's not possible. It's not possible. There is always, as in when we re mm. repressed memory still influences your decisions mm. in real time. The repressed memory, the one you're not conscious of, your subconscious still reacts. You will not know why you're doing what you're doing. Mm. But the actions of the past play and have effects on what you do in the present. Aside from that is the fact that when you don't call out, when you cover up, another person gets abused. Why mm -hmm. do we talk about this thing? Mm. If, I do, if one person gets raped mm. and you cover up, mm. six others, ten we'll others will get raped exactly. because you don't say anything. Exactly. Your silence is exposing many others to the same shame. Exactly. That's why the developed country had to create a directory or what they call that stuff. Yes. Um, it, that, that every sexual, sexual offender, offender had a sexual offenders record. Re record. record because they realized that sexual offenders are not one-off. Mm -mm. In most Always cases, the boy probably had raped the sister yeah. mm -hmm. and did not say anything. Then now he was raping his daughter. Exactly. If the list had come out, you, when you were marrying him, you would have known know that, that. Ah, I have married somebody that Sexual. has a record of raping minors. Exactly. So I have chosen to marry. I will protect my own wow. children. Fantastic. So we need to have that record. We need to talk about it. Mm. We need to speak up. Mm. And we also need to share the stories of success after. Mm. If, you've, if, it, if somebody said, oh, I was born... Ellen Paul's story is so powerful. Oh, I'm a product of rape, mm. and here I am doing all these things. Yes. Anybody that is a product of rape can always say, that is Ellen Paul. She, as a product of rape, did not turn out bad. I will not turn out bad. We need, test we need stories, we need testimonials yeah. of people who have survived being molested by their yeah. parents Absolutely. or something like that, so that we have a, we have a, a model to look yeah. forward to Roadmap. that it's possible. So the yeah. sexual offender record is even extremely important. I think yes. I have a caller. Hold on one second. Adekunle, I'll come back to you. Adekunle, thanks for calling. Oh, lost that call. Sorry, Adekunle. You can vet any, anybody at all. Shall you come in close person that will be working closely mm. with you and family? I think members. Governor Fayani also, also had one in Nikiti also. It, yes, yeah, it started Lagos, with yes. Lagos um, under uh, BRF's go uh, government. And then the, the records have moved. NAPTIP now keeps a national record of okay. sexual offenders. You, could just, you can just check anybody's name. And with this new, uh, our BV, uh, sorry, our and name I, number. Yes. You don't want to be a sexual offender. No. Your number, you could be there. Record. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll be there. So I wanted to talk about those cases of women being shot by a gang of family members. So now this is not the husband, mm -hmm. but the husband's brother. So there was a case where we had, I think it was on your view, we had that call, was online, mm -hmm. where a woman was being molested by her husband to shush over the brother who had raped his niece mm. in his house. And he was saying, you want to destroy family, 
family is threatening her, everybody is threatening her. That is even the worst case. In the least, walk away with your child. This is saying here. It says, if you can stay in an abusive marriage, you can, if you can stay in an abusive marriage, you can stay with your, when your daughter is being, when your child is being molested by the father. It's one and the same process. Because if you can't love yourself enough to take yourself out, then you cannot help your child. No. So these are things that you must know. You must be able to walk away. And you must, it doesn't matter the status and living down arrangements. So if, yes, it might be a bigger house, bigger class and all of that. Mm -hmm. But you'll be willing to take the risk for the child. Yeah. Because the children are watching. Yeah, the children are, you're also nurturing children. So that the child understands that I don't give up and stay in any form of this kind of use. And my children, for my children's sake, you model that child to model after you. Yeah. Because you have stood up for her. Yeah. And you know, let me add to what she said. You know that also psycholog psychologically, sometimes when something, someone goes through um, trauma that is, and, and doesn't heal from it, most times they don't, want to, they don't want to be that person. But sometimes they become that person mm. as they get older, right? So we also need to look at that perspective that a, sex a child that was um, sexually um, abused most and then and, and molested, most likely they might do the same thing. Do you understand? Especially in a situation whereby this was not properly dealt with. Um, they didn't uh, talk through it with yes. the child or the family covered it up for whatever reason. The child might start thinking, oh, this is the right thing or maybe this is how things are or this is the proper things that happen in certain families. So when I have a child, I can do the same. Mm. So, and the children become resentful to their parents, to both mother and father, exactly. for not even addressing I'm surprised this at this exactly. comment. Carl oh, Michael says, I support covering it up because of the shame and stigma. But that woman must leave the marriage and leave that man. And a lot of reactions to him on YouTube about this stand. He says, I support covering it up, but the woman must leave the man and the marriage. Cover what he up? says, because of the shame and stigma mm. on the family. Who defines what is shameful? The family? What, who, who defines what is shameful? Not us, which yes. we, we human beings Names. that determine what is shameful. Then we need to rewrite it. Mm. It's not shameful exactly. for you to leave your husband, he, especially if he's in that situation where he's raping your child. It's not a shame. The, the shame it's a thing of pride. The thing of pride. It's a thing of that I, I left yeah. for my sake of my child. You're strong enough. enough. That you're strong and, you must, woman. and what Okwe said is really crucial because we're not saying it. Mm. We need to celebrate these women. We need to glorify them. For the work, the, the audacity to live mm. in that situation. And it's when we celebrate this kind of women that other women will understand that it is that okay can. to move. Mm. Because I, sometimes it's, it, it, I feel that not a lot of women are speaking. And that's one of the reasons why I wrote my book. Because it was important for us to share real Nigerian stories. Yeah. Many people, when they write their books, they gloss over, oh, I'm empowering women. Mm. I'm, you know, I'm giving you the tools. Mm. That's nice. But sometimes it's your story that is more empowering. Yeah, my, my it's your real story that tells us that you have to walk the path that, that they are walking my, my through. My son learned that he should not steal. He said that mm -hmm. when he read the book, I, I got that I should not steal. Yeah. That even though I don't get beaten, but what yeah. we at Timuraya yeah. wrote it. Yes, yeah. because you, when you share your stories yeah. Yeah. by book, by book, that talk about when I stole biscuits. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the, the, because my, one of the things why she told me that she couldn't drop the book because. What she was getting was she was getting more meat and found stories from the things I said. Mm. So it's not so much about giving us the tools. Yeah. The five yeah. they are great. They are, they are great. Yeah. Mm. But people need to learn from us. So more Nigerians, yeah. more women out there need to speak up. Our older women, also also older yeah. women, yes. Yes. Trans yeah. trans transgenerational conversations. Yes. 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 and especially mm. not, not not just even about um, being molested for for everything. everything. Yeah. Even you find out that women when women are sick or you have a certain ailment, they tell you hush it, hush it, hush it. Yes. If you talk about it, you might not have a husband, you might not like. Are you kidding me? Someone is sick, you need to speak about it, share yes. your story so that other people can be empowered, so that people can know you that you just don't even know where your herbalist is. Then they, everybody <laughs> tells you, Hush, hush, hide, hide. All that we hiding. <laughs> Our people say now, children, my girl, if you had private, I had private injuries, mm -hmm. it's only you that we need to kill. If you share it, you just might know somebody who has gone through it, exactly. who has the cure. I think on that note, we can end the show. Thank you, ladies. Happy Easter. We have to wrap up. We'll let a few things as we have. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.